to hear the proposal of Satoru Gojo would accept, excited. Gogu says, it is noted that you are strong, however, your key is very strange. Gojo would put a face of confusion to hear the term key. Gojo responds, Key? I guess you mean my power? Let me inform you that in this world, we call it cursed energy. Now I'll show it to you. Get ready, Son Goku. Gojo releases a red taking Goku by surprise. Everything is destroyed by the great power of Satoru. Frightened Itadori asks, Master, don't you think that you went a little too far? I doubt very much that that person came out alive after that attack. Gojo smiles. Dear student Itadori, let me tell you that I would never ask a weak being to fight against me. All the dust of the debris disappears, appearing the image of Goku protecting himself with his arms from the attack. Itadori. Impressive! He was able to resist a direct attack from Master Gojo. Goku smiles, disappearing. Goku appears behind Gojo and tries to hit him, but Goku is surprised when he can't touch him. Goku again tries to attack in several points, but still can't connect a single hit. Itadori says, Goku is very fast and very strong, but the Wall of Infinity is at another level. Goku stops his attacks. Goju explains, this is called Infinity. Any attack on me slows down to the point that it is impossible to touch me. Goku would be somewhat confused. Goju explains, in other words, I'm a magnet, and everything around me is also a magnet. If you join two magnets of the same pole, what you get is that they push each other. Now, do you understand? Goku answers, I understand it is a powerful defense technique, but don't you think it's boring? If you spend all your time like this, you won't be able to fight either, or am I wrong? Goju smiles and answers, of course I can. Goju removes his blindfold, revealing his eyes. Goku excited says, very well then, right now I'll destroy your defense. Goku becomes a super saiyan. Itadori would be very surprised. How spectacular! His muscles grew three more sizes and also now he's blonde. He became stronger? Knew you had something hidden. Goku uses the Super Saiyan too. I think he transformed again but now lightning covers all his aura and his appearance is more aggressive. Besides, what's all this pressure I feel? Goku gets in position to do the Kamehame. Gojo would be very surprised by the great amount of energy that Goku creates in his palms, and Gojo says, Son Goku, try hard as I will respond with something extremely powerful. And Tadori surprised says, Don't tell me that you'll use that attack. Gojo creates his ritual to be able to use purple. says, you're very powerful. The different worlds are spectacular, to which Gojo would respond with a big smile. And you're not far behind that attack really surprised me, to which Goku with a more serious look tells Gojo that he is really strong, but he knows that he did not fight with all his strength. All this would happen with a Itadori in the background petrified of surprise. Gojo says, Goku, not long ago we have felt great overwhelming powers that appear and disappear but curiously has not reappeared. I set out to investigate a little, but I could not feel again trace of those energies. Goku responds, that must be the gap that unites this world to mine. I have to find it and destroy it, if I don't do it quickly, everything I know will disappear. Gojo would approach a few steps to Goku and say smiling, farewell. What do you think if we help you find what you're looking for? If you paid attention, you've already realized that this is a school, a school that I direct with very strong students. They're not yet at my level, but there are many who have the ability. All of us will help you to find what you're looking for, but in return, join us while you accomplish your goal. Goku would accept almost immediately. So, you're already a new partner, Goku would meet most of the students and teachers, but still on his own, he would look for the crack all over the place. 
That same day on October 31st at 21 o'clock p.m., a veil appeared in Shibuya, Tokyo. All humans were captured by it. All the saucers would put hands to work to investigate and give solution to the problem. Just like the series, those responsible wanted the presence of Satoru Gojo in the middle of the crowd, Satoru Gojo makes presence entering the veil. Gojo would make a recognition throughout the place and would have realized immediately that is what those of responsible were looking for. Gojo worried says, this energy is. On the other hand, Itadori would be very surprised and distressed to learn that his master will do all the work alone. Itadori would ask to support him. Gojo goes down to the train station encountering powerful curses. It looks like they had everything prepared. Right now, I'll finish you all off. Jogo responds, I hope and you don't run away when you see this. Jogo the curse shows somewhat an unusual object. It would be about the bridge that Goku was looking for. That's it! Jogo says, I imagine that a sorcerer of your caliber could witness the energy of this thing. Gojo responds, that's right. Seven days ago I was able to witness a great power that appeared and disappeared over and over again. As time passed, the energy was much stronger, but when I set out to investigate, that energy disappeared completely, and the next day, that man appeared. That man? A friend I just met. Someone unimportant. Now, I understand that you were the idiots who took possession of that cube, but how did you make that energy disappear so suddenly, and what will you do with that power? One of the curses explains that apparently that cube was an entrance to an unknown world with great power. We have tried everything to enter or even see what is inside this cube, but the only thing we could see with difficulty is a purple cat on the other side. However, it is impossible to communicate or to do anything. Apparently, this cube needs a key or something to use it as a portal to the world that teaches us. Gojo says, How interesting, but you still don't answer my question. Damn, sorcerers, today will be the day you all die. Jogo, with the other curses, absorbed the energy of the cube, increasing its power in an exponential way. We have been absorbing the energy of this cube little by little because if we had absorbed it all at once, maybe it would have killed us all because of the incredible power it has. The reason why this energy disappeared is because of the veal. Now I understand. Jogo explains, when we found this cube levitating through the skies, we took possession of it and obviously, we knew that its power would attract any sorcerer, so we made a veal to cover its presence. Jogo shouts, Satoru Gojo, you'll be the first to witness our great power combined with this cube! Jogo jumps to attack Satoru Gojo. Gojo activates his barrier. You misunderstood Gojo? Now that we have absorbed the energy of the cube, we are much more powerful. Your barrier won't stop us. Jogo advances with surprising speed. With a fierce shout, he launches a wave of cursed energy towards Gojo. The infinity barrier absorbs the energy, but the intensity of the attack causes the air around Gojo to distort. Your attacks won't succeed in hurting me. While Gojo is busy handling the energy wave, Hanami and Dagon other curses approach from different angles. Hanami uses his ability to manipulate nature causing giant trees and plants to rise from the ground, trapping and limiting Gojo's movements. Hanami shouts, While you concentrate on Jogo, we'll catch you! Dagon says, Don't forget about me! Dagon launches tentacles of cursed water that emerge from a crack in the ground, trying to trap Gojo. The attack is fast and almost unstoppable. The constant pressure and the combination of coordinated attacks begin to wear down his barrier. As Gojo moves to avoid the attacks, Jogo begins to concentrate a huge amount of cursed flames. His fire skill intensifies, creating an explosion of flames that he launches directly towards Gojo. The intensity of the fire is so high that Gojo's infinity barrier begins to waver and break under the pressure of the attack. As the barrier weakens, the curses intensify their offensive. Hanami and Dagon continue to attack with a combination of natural and aquatic powers creating a constant barrage of attacks that further wear down the barrier, and with a last-ditch effort, Jogo channels all the absorbed energy into a massive explosion, an attack that combines fire and cursed energy in a single blow. The blast engulfs Gojo, who tries to maintain his barrier in a desperate attempt to protect himself. The explosion manages to break Gojo's barrier, which disintegrates under the pressure of the attack. Gojo is thrown into the air, clearly weakened. 
The gap is proven too powerful even for him. Gojo in a weak voice says, How? How is that possible? We now have the power of the Q. Infinity is now no match for our combined cursed energy. After those words, Kenjaku appears. I had his plan B to lock you in the prison realm, but the power of that Q is more than amazing. Gojo on the ground would see his best friend standing in front of him. Let's cut this nonsense now, I'll finish this sorcery. Jojo keeps absorbing energy from the cube, creating a big fire arrow aiming at Gojo. Kenjaku says, I know you're confused, I'd like to continue appreciating you a little, but we better hurry. Gojo shouts, Who the hell are you? My eyes and my mind say that you're a Suguru Ghetto, but my heart says otherwise. Kenjaku smiles showing his true identity, and then Gojo sets out to finish off Gojo. Satoru, Gojo dies! At the same moment, Goku makes his appearance, hitting Jogo, smashing him against the wall. Kenjaku is surprised, as are the others. But how strong? These damn sorcerers of no end, Mahito transforms and kills many humans in front of Goku's eyes, provoking great anger and the science. 